All right, so for the mixture of yeast, let's see if you guys can see this, Grotech uh, yeast extra. We use 15 pounds of it, and the bucket comes in at about a pound and a half, so you go to 16 and a half, 17 pounds. I'd usually try to hit about 17. Probably better to be just a little bit over than a little under. And then knock the hammer or a sledgehammer over. Just regular white salt. We'll dump it on. And we'll go all the way up to about the 25 mark. You want about eight pounds of the salt. We'll mix up two buckets of this because we're going to do two grinder loads of about 5,000 pounds of ear corn. Got the soybean meal. And then we also do Agland Beef Maker 6. 300 pounds of soybean meal per tank. 5,000 pounds of ground ear corn. 8 pounds of salt. 75 or 15 pounds of yeast and 75 pounds of the Agland Beef Maker 6. So I'm going to throw some Beef Maker in the bucket of the Bobcat here and back it up around then I'll pull the grain. Alright, got the 1486 hooked up to the New Holland 354 grinder mixer. Got the auger out, elevator running into auger. Auger runs into hammer mill, hammer mill hammers grinds, runs it into there, that has a big auger that pushes all the grain up to the top, it comes out the top and spreads out, mixing it because it's always revolving, what's at the bottom is always going to the top, slowly mixes it all together, that way you get an even mixture when you add your supplements and everything. Uh, things seem a little out of order today, they might be, because I'm filming two videos actually, one for... Well, they're both going on the same channel. One will be Wednesday, one will be Saturday. Uh, I don't know which one I'll post first. I have to edit them and see. Making one grinding cattle feed and then one feeding cattle. And if this one comes out first, you guys are going to like the feeding cattle. Because those are the ones where I get all the trolls and the hate comments from. And I'm going to have a little fun with them today. Uh, we'll see how that video does. See if you guys like it. Don't take it too serious. But we're going to get to grinding. Alright, so I ground pretty much the whole first one by myself. And then my uncle and my brother showed up. So they're in there scooping feet now. We had a blowout. There's part of it. There's part of it. Blew the glass out. Started spraying a bunch of feet out on the ground. Of course it waited until it was all the way full. But we got it before it spilled too much. Then I just flat retake that. I'd like to say that would get us by until we fixed it, but that's just going to be how it is from now on. But, we're grinding feet. I'm going to do my job and put all of this in there. And then that auger right there will take it to there. And then it'll mix in and integrate in. And then it'll get sucked up and mixed around and take the feet. All right, we got the grinder full too. So the wagon's full and the grinder's full with these cool
radio off, idle the tractor down. Yep. I had you guys blocked. But these cool nights and it not being super dry or super wet, it's actually really dry right now. We can leave the grinder full back in the shed and it won't mold. Over summer, it'll when it's real hot and humid, it'll draw moisture off of the metal and it'll mold and basically make a brick in there. Then you'll break shear bolts and all kinds of stuff and then you got moldy feet. You don't want moldy feet. But when it's cool out like it is this time of year here in northwest Indiana, Oh, I'm barely going to make that in there. Yep, I got it. We're good. Oh, I touched the door. We're just going to say it could open a little more. Still not bad. It's kind of dark in here. There we go. It's not hitting anything. But now I'm going to pull the cables off the batteries and maybe they'll not be dead. But who knows? not how normal things work come on but i hope you guys enjoyed watching yeah i just barely touched over there it's good hope you guys enjoyed watching come off of there they don't want to go on good enough to make a connection but they don't come off either And, as always, have a good one.